The Catholic Church earlier today, led by Nairobi Archbishop Philip Agnolo, congregated for a memorial mass to commemorate the 19th anniversary of Cardinal Maurice Otunga. Leading the memorial mass, Archbishop Philip Agnolo asked congregants to uphold peace, faithfulness, and service to humanity, virtues that the late Cardinal Otunga lived by. The Archdiocese of Nairobi encouraged the faithful to keep praying for the cause of beautification and canonization. Archbishop Philip Agnolo led Catholic faithful in the Lane of Reds to mark the 19th anniversary since the passing of Cardinal Maurice Otunga. Born on the 31st of January 1923 in Chebuko village of Western Kenya, Cardinal Otunga died on the 6th September 2003 at the age of 80. He served the church for 53 years as a priest, bishop and cardinal. I want to encourage especially the young people who have come in the formation to get to read, to know more about him. Because as it stands, he's among the very first people in the history of Kenya Christianity that is propelling and on the path towards Sandywood. Agnolo eulogized Cardinal Otunga as a man who lived a selfless life in service to God and humanity, a man whose life is worth emulating. I remember every time I met him, uh, he told me this word which I had to look for, the meaning, the dictionary again and again, be docile to the church, be docile the church. That's what he used to tell me. Oh, you have come from a little such morning. You have arrived here. I said, yes, I've come. And you want to go back today? I said, yes, I want to go back. I just got this letter. I want to give. No, 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 no. Come to the house. Have a, have a cup of tea. I was shaking in my boots. <laughs> Under the Catholic procedures, there are three steps to sainthood. A candidate becomes venerable, then blessed, and then saint. Venerable is the title given to a deceased person, recognized formally by the Pope as having lived a heroically virtuous life or offered their life. If conferred the title of saint, Cardinal Otunga will be the second to have served in the country and to be beatified, following the footsteps of Sister Irene Stephanie Nyata, who was beatified in 2015. Mary Mwoki, Citizen TV.